Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Ultima 9 Ascension, and when last we left off, we tried to get into Valoria, but the people guarding the way in didn't quite believe that we were the Avatar. To prove that we are who we say we are, we have agreed to retrieve the head of a red dragon, and the only red dragon that the people of Valoria know of resides in the dungeon Destard. There's a problem with that, though. The entrance to Destard was sealed up quite a while ago by a giant boulder, and the person who used the word of power to seal up Destard is in Destard, and likely very dead. The only other way that they know of in is blocked by a huge amount of ice. We're gonna have to find somebody who can help us get in, and that's why we are close to pause. Specifically, if we check the map, we are over here, for we want to go somewhere that we've actually been before, though at the time there was no reason for us to be in that location, and you can get there on the way to you. But we're taking the pause route because there are things that we can find here, like this ominous place full of skulls on pikes. Perhaps this is the way that we're going to take to get there. Maybe, maybe not. Either way, it's full of peril, because giants. Fortunately, we have Yolo's bow, and that has served us well. And this isn't foreboding at all. Oh, it's very foreboding. That's a huge pile of skulls! And there are two very large buildings here, which tells me... Yep, I can see one right there, that there are more giants in my future. There's also a building there that wouldn't look out of place in Moonglow. We're gonna have to check that out after we've dealt with these giants. It's clear from all of these, uh, heads on pikes that they are a scourge that needs to be dealt with. And there's at least one giant in there. Yep, and we've got your attention. There's also one there as well, and both of them are coming closer. How about thee? We need to be very particular with how we aim. We just need to uh, hold them up, and fortunately, they are trapped on each other, which is very fortuitous. And you're gone, and you got knocked back, and we should be able to, yep, deal with you like so. Huge pile of gold. Okay, it's not that huge, but it'll do. Anyone in here? Nope. Anyone in here? No. So let's see if we can go to that building. We're gonna have to go back a ways and then jump over these uh, rocky outcrops. We're gonna have to also watch out for any more giants, because I imagine they are going to respawn. We can certainly... Uh, Notice their uh, movement when the screen shakes. Is there one over? Yep, there's one over here! Hello! You've just come back from scouting the area, I imagine? Well, I've got some bad news for you! Take that. And that is that you're gone. How many arrows do we have? We have, uh, that's not the right button. 689. Suffice to say, we're okay for arrows. I'm gonna jump up to here. And up to here, and then up to here. And then we're going to slide our way down! I hear someone! That person's either finding something very funny, or there's something wrong. So, let's slide down Avatar style! No damage, because we're just that awesome. Do a bit of healing, and make our way in! Hopefully, this person will be friendly. Um... Um... Hello? Are you well? I can't talk to you. And if I move over to here, you're just going to stand there and pretend to be a chicken? There's a book there. Maybe that book will shed some light on what's going on. Alchemist Journal, Melvin the Mad. 
Mad? They call me mad? I pity the fools! They have no idea how close I am! My years of research are close to fruition! A flying spell! Soon, so soon! Then, we'll see the difference between genius and madness! Melvin the Mad? Never! Several failures, all of which nearly killed me, yet defeat is not in my nature. In my next attempt, I shall try combining the light and dark, the day and night. Nightshade and light are the key! Only in that way can the force of weight be inverted, and yet there seems something missing. No way to know the effects in advance, but I'm now certain the missing agent is feathers! But what am I to use? I borrowed a few from a bluebird who volunteered. Rest in peace. <laughs> Now my moment of glory is at hand. Then I shall make my laughing peers pay dearly. If I succeed, I must destroy this journal, the only record in existence of my trials. And off you go! Even if we don't find where we need to go, I think I found the best thing in this game. Just hands down the best thing in this game. And that's Melvin here. I don't think I've ever found Melvin before. And I'm so sad that I haven't. This is amazing. Is this what I think it is? It's a scroll of levitate. We could have just found one here. And I don't think you care that we're taking it. Because let's face it, y you are mad. You are very, very mad. And off you go! Oh, if only levitating and flying about in the game was like this, it would be amazing. I could just stay here all day. In fact, you know what? I'm going to make a special save here. I'm going to save because I need to. And then I'm going to make a MELVIN save. In all caps, because... Sometimes I think I'll just want to come back here and uh, marvel in MELVIN's... Uh, Majesty. Well, so long, Melvin. Uh, have fun being absolutely mad. So that's not where we want to go. If only that had have been where we wanted to go, uh... You were not far off the beaten track at all. I could have easily got the uh, levitate scroll a long time ago. And there is you. Hello. Just going to slay you. Two strikes, and you are out! Now, where has this placed us? This has placed us here. So we have a bit of uh, backtracking to do to get back to where we were. Whereupon we're going to have to find a way over those mountains. I wouldn't try it, Goblin. I wouldn't try it. And wisely, the Goblin did not try it. But hey, we did get some money. And we found Melvin, so that diversion was definitely worth it. Okay, up here we go. This is uh, close to where we got the plate helm that we're still using, I might add. We're still using this helmet. So it always uh, perturbs me that the uh, sound for drawing the Black Rock Sword is muffled. It's just muffled. It's, it's not quieter, it's muffled and quieter. Now... We want to get over these mountains so that we can get to where we need to be. But that's going to be tricky. Also, Hellhounds. This should be pretty familiar to those who remember my explorations around you. Let's deal with you. Two strikes there. We want to go over there. Now that's going to be tricky, but I think we can do it with the legs of Sentry. So, put these on. Also, put that there, put that there. Actually, no, put that there, like that, and we'll see what we can do. So, up here we go, up here we go, up here we go. Yes! Up here? Also, yes! Up here? Yes! And with that, we should. Pretty much be uh, where we need to be. Also, wouldn't try it, Vulture. Would not try it. So up here now. And there we go. We are back here. Now, we're looking for a particular NPC. Uh, there's a problem, however, in that this... 
You did try and have at thee. I would not have recommended that. You're going to come back round. And I just can't get you like this. Well, you know what? I'm gonna deal with you like this. Or not, as the case may be. Or not. There we go. Finally got you. Now, what I'm concerned about is something that somebody mentioned a while ago, which is that, uh... The NPC in question that I want to speak to is normally in this building. But I think when we came here, this NPC was not there. This could be because this NPC has flown up into the heavens, because this NPC is someone who'll do that. They'll just walk up and get glitched out into the skybox and will never appear ever again. By the way, this is uh, Dawn. This is a town that used to exist in Ultima 3. Uh, Dupre found it while exploring around Cesaria and uh, swore to never reveal Dawn's location because Dawn was a town of exceptional beauty. Unfortunately, Dawn is now a uh, destroyed husk. By the dragon's hand, the dragon uh, destroyed this place and the only survivor was a person called Molly who isn't here, because Molly has likely flown up into the sky, never to be seen again. You may be thinking, oh no, the playthrough is over! There's no way you can possibly deal with Molly not being here anymore! Fortunately, you don't need to speak to Molly to actually carry on with the game, though she does give you a lot of information concerning how evil the dragon is and where you need to go to get into Death Star. We need to go over here, to where this column is, where it is ominously making ominous noises of evil corruption. Also, where lava is, and this creature made of ice. You could stumble on this area and see this creature and go, Oh! We were told that the uh, only other way in is sealed by ice. Maybe this is the way we need to go. And if you slay this creature, grab this sapphire if I can. Just need to uh, go over here and head to this location. You'll find where you need to go. For there is a body here and a very suspiciously square area full of ice. And this is where we need fire spells. And we have quite a few of them, but we're going to pick the lowest level one that we have. There is uh, nothing here, for that is lightning bolt, but we do have fireball. And a fireball will do it. But we're going to need more than one fireball. We're going to need quite a few fireballs. I think it might be four. So that's the second one. That's the third one. And... That's the fourth one. Melts all the ice, reveals the way into Death Star. And that will remain thawed out. All we need to do is find a place to rest so that we can regain our mana, because this is a very, very dangerous dungeon. We are going to find enemies here, the likes of which we have not encountered up to this point. Also, the demon that we encountered outside of Valoria, I think they're invulnerable when there is a hellhound alive. So that would explain why it wasn't taking very much damage. Can we rest if we... There we go! We can rest here, and I'm sure we'll be fine. Just ignore the uh, screen juddering because of the giant and all the hellhounds and all the destruction and that person there that could easily kill us. They're not going to, though. They're going to leave us sleep, which is nice of them. It's very nice of them. And there we go. No reason to delay in going into Destard because it being night isn't going to matter. We have lots of resources, quite a few potions. Are we ready? We might not be. But either way, we are going to press on. And I hope that ice actually hasn't reappeared. It could very well have reappeared. Has the monster reappeared? Nope, that's encouraging. Now, if we had the ability to just survive lava like we uh, 
could in earlier games, that huge, uh, pool of lava wouldn't be an issue. The, uh, boots of, uh, lava walking from Ultra Underworld would be fantastic. Unfortunately, we have no such thing, so instead we are going to save right before we go in. And down we go. No, uh, falling uh, there so that we don't take any damage from uh, the drop. Also, this place is, uh, sinister already. Definitely the realm of a dragon. You hear the dungeon music, there's a lot of lava. There's also that being very ominous. Seems quite important. Either way, let's look about and see what we can uncover. There is something that we want in this dungeon, a really uh, powerful piece of magical armor. As to whether we'll find it, that remains to be seen. There's a hellhound. We want to... Actually, we could try using archery on you. Why not? We do have, uh... We do have arrows. Doesn't seem to be working that well, though. Ah, well. And you seem unable to, uh... Get through that, which is to my benefit. So, let's have at thee. Can we get through? Yes, we can, and you are gone. Marvelous. There's a treasure chest here. Do I trust this? Probably not. Ooh, right to trust it. Bottle of whiskey. And a potion. And a lemon. Alright, the lemon I wasn't expecting, but I'll take it. I'll take it. And there's over here. We definitely can't get into there. There's some powerful magic guarding that entranceway. Lots of lava in general. And some glitchy shadows. And a huge pile of rats. This is going to be a long one, as I said, and we need to, uh, be careful. First, the rats. Take care of you. 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 And... There are some little rats there, too. We're going to uh, leave the little rats be. And explore about. Oh, there's a bigger one, though. Actually, there are quite a lot more rats than I uh, first thought. Let's deal with you. Perhaps you're another survivor of the uh, Town of Dawn. Let's go... I will. I will. Don't worry. We'll defeat all the rats. And then we'll see... Ooh, there's a key there. That key seems important. Let's go get that. Probably unlock something pretty nifty. Help! Please! I've been left in here to die! What have you done to deserve this? Probably nothing. What have you done to deserve this? Done? Done? I've done nothing to deserve this. I simply grew too old to serve the dragon anymore. So one of those accursed worm gods chained me up in here. He left the key somewhere in here, out of my reach. I've got it for you. But first I want some information. In what manner did you serve the dragon? The worm gods have enslaved many people who mine gems in this dungeon for the dragon. In return, the selfish beast gives up young dragons to be trained by the worm god. Have you ever heard of such travesty? They left me here to die because I was too feeble to dig anymore. That sounds terrible. We need to solve this now. The key is in here? Yes. A scoundrel named D'Artagne dropped the key somewhere in here and laughed about me never being able to get at it. 
Oh, if only I had been brave enough in my youth to defy those brutes. I may have died, but at least I would have died with dignity. Please see if you can find the key to release me. If I can get out of here, I may be able to spend my remaining days as a man. I'll look for the key. I'll look for the key. Oh, thank you. It really shouldn't take but a moment. I think I've already found it. So how do we... Do we just jump up to you? Combat? No, I don't think there's actually combat going on here. Let's talk to you. Did you find the key? Yes, I did. Wait just a moment and I'll set you free. Thank you so much for your help. When I reach the surface, I shall dedicate my life to encouraging others to take charge of their lives and to stand up against the Worm Guard. As for you, be careful. Any of the Worm Guard here will likely attack you on sight. Farewell! Good luck out there, and I hope the rest of your life is peaceful. Ah, there's someone there. Oh, also, there's you. Hello. I think I'm going to speak to you. I see that you have managed thus far to escape the dragon. If only my comrades and I had been so fortunate. What is your name? What is your name, sad spirit? My name is Adriana. I hailed from the village of Dawn. And who might you be? I am the Avatar. Really? Are you truly serious? I never thought that I would ever meet the Avatar. Well, if you are the Avatar, perhaps you can help release my spirit and those of my companions from the curse of the dragon. Our souls have been bound to this place until the dragon is slain. We beg you to help us, Avatar. Don't worry. I'll help you, but I need some information. What happened to your party? I believe that all of us were killed by the dragon. Though I have found the rest of the spirits in our party, I have not yet found my dear husband, Doran. I hope that he lives. And I'm afraid that he did not make it. We came down here many years ago to kill the dragon because it was attacking our town. We decided that it was better to try to kill the dragon than submit to it as others would have it. Who tried to submit? Who tried to submit to the dragon? There was a man named Zanthal who was convinced that should we worship the dragon, it would not only spare us from its attacks, but would also protect us. The town was split. Many people joined Santhal's cult. But we preferred to fight. I still believe that our cause was right. We may even have succeeded, had it not been for Xanthal's interference. I still cannot believe how the town tore itself apart. Some of them went with valorous action to try and free the town, and others were too afraid to do so. How did Zarnthal interfere with your mission? He told the dragon of our plan. He had hoped to catch the dragon unaware, but that was made impossible. If that was not enough, Zarnthal's cult helped the dragon to perform a ritual that bound us to this place. Because of this, all of us who came to destroy the dragon may not rest, but are doomed to haunt this dungeon until the dragon is killed. You are a brave and stalwart soul. This I can tell. Perhaps you can help us? I hope so. How may I help you? If you can slay the dragon, you will relieve us from the dragon's curse and allow our souls to rest. I also ask that you bring me some evidence of what happened to my husband. I hope 
that he yet lives, but I fear that he does not. I only want to know what has happened to him. Please bring me some proof of my husband's fate. Will you do these things? Of course. Yes, poor lady. I'll do whatever I can for you. Bless you, dear friend. Be very careful and stout of heart. For the dragon is strong and devious. And please try to bring back some news of my dear husband. Farewell. Farewell. And so we have a quest. Also, we have these pools of water that are not lava. That makes a change. And so we are in the dungeon Destard, despite the fact that Molly was not there to give us directions. Molly is currently up in the skybox right now, if she's even still in the world at all, could very well have clipped out of existence. And so, when we come back folks, exploring the penultimate dungeon of the game, which is full of hellhounds and really difficult monsters that I hope we can take care of. And so, I'll catch you next time folks, and I'll see you then. Later.